So, you've just started playing Rebirth Island in Warzone, or you've been playing Rebirth Island for a long time, but you're looking for tips to take your game to the next level. In this video, we're gonna cover mistakes that you're making that you need to fix quickly, but also some easy tips you can implement that will raise your KD in Rebirth Island and make the experience more enjoyable for you. The first thing we need to talk about is where to land, what POIs are the best, and what you should be doing as soon as you touch the ground. Now, the first thing we need to think about is where we can go that can set us up for the most success. If you're trying to drop 20 to 30 kill games, you need to land at a POI that has a lot of players so that you can easily get kills at the beginning of the game and get third parties. The options are pretty much control center, prison, or bioweapons lab for that. Now, sometimes you're gonna have a lot of people land at other POIs like living quarters, but for the most part, this is it. Once you cut your parachute and you're actually running around looting, your goal is to find enough money to get a loadout and to get a gun that you're comfortable with. My thought is first of all, go to a buy station and buy a gun, mainly a submachine gun like the HRM that I can run around with and get as many eliminations as possible. I'm trying to hit a chest and find a gun that I feel like I can aim with and has decent damage or is pretty close to meta. So right now, if I find a Ram 7 on the ground, an HRM, like I had said, I would go to the buy station to buy or a WSP9, I'm absolutely content with that, and I'm gonna try to get as many kills as I can with this. Remember in the beginning of the game in Rebirth Island, not a lot of people have their loadout. So if you have a gun you're comfortable with, you already have a leg up on the competition. And of course, if you have 8,000 in solos or anywhere up to $16,000, your thought is, let me get that loadout and UAV immediately. If you have your perks and your class set up, then you're really good to go. So what do you do next? Well, the thing that you can do to instantly improve in Rebirth Island and Warzone for that matter is push enemies by yourself. Instead of playing on top of your teammates, throwing prox mines down or camping for the win, we don't do that because listen, I was a Boy Scout back in the day, but we don't need any more merit badges for camping out here. Is to just go out and fight teams by yourself. Push to a POI like prison, Nova 6 factory, headquarters or living quarters and try to get high ground and look for enemies that are fighting. If you pop a UAV and happen to see that there's multiple enemies out there, your first priority is trying to get what's called a pick. To illustrate how to actually start a fight, here's what happened the other night to me in solo versus duos. I had zero kills and saw my loadout drop, and earlier I had just shot somebody and broke their plates. So I decided to do the only thing that I could do push. That's the only way you're going to get better and the only way that you can really get more comfortable in gunfights. So I push down to get my loadout only to hear somebody come out. Uh, Are you with footsteps me? Footsteps above me. Yup. Yup. Footsteps above you. I heard longitude, latitude, 45, 55, six. I'm on his 12. So of course, after mocking him a little bit, I decide to take the high ground on the top 12. of the roof near stronghold. That way I can wait for a pick. A pick is not what you're thinking if you're a basketball fan. It's not setting a screen so you can run a different play. Instead, it's trying to look for an open to enter the fight that way you can get as many kills as possible and this is solo versus duos which i highly recommend queuing in if you're trying to get better at warzone so as i'm laying down during the occupation scan i'm just listening for footsteps why because fighting two people in the same angle or at the same time is really difficult but if you can get it to a 1v1 it's easy so i wait for my time to strike drop down and get the first kill now watch what happens as this fight continues i continue to reposition after i get kills and make it a lot easier Slam! <laughs> and that's the key here is making this all easier on yourself now you might be wondering how do i actually reposition and fight multiple enemies at once well the other day i dropped into solos on the nova roof and quickly grabbed a gun and ended up perfectly illustrating this point like i was an author of a famous book because as i landed in here and grabbed a wsp9 a sweaty player started okay, pushing me. so me what now. i did was break his plate and then instead of trying to chase him around the same corner i decide to throw him off and confuse him i mantle up jump around and therefore i have an angle he's not expecting now i'm no geometry teacher i'm a history teacher but playing angles and trying to confuse your enemies with these angles is one of the best things you can do and Really using cover is what you need to get to the next level. So as this next enemy pushes me in the same gameplay, notice I'm kind of using cover and playing behind with my aim to throw off my enemy. And as I jump down, I'm once again, just gonna keep pushing and try to use different angles to take out as many enemies as I can, all while continuing to push the whole time. Throughout the rest of this gameplay, you will notice that I just continue to do this. I look at the mini map, see where people are and try to find the angle where I can approach them with minimal contact for them they either can't see me because i have the high ground or i can just shoot down on them and then after i get a kill i'm trying to keep moving no matter what so if you want to improve at rebirth island and warzone these are some of the best tips that you can do and as always there's different settings 
tips and tricks that you can learn on top of this. But if you practice these two things, I have no doubt that you'll be out here smoking everybody on Rebirth Island. And I hope that you got value out of this video and you enjoyed it. So let me know down in the comments. What are you thinking about Rebirth Island? What sorts of content do you want to see from me? And I would love to see you in the live stream tonight on YouTube starting at 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern where we're going for a resurgence nuke. And that video will actually be linked at the end of this video. So drop a subscription and a like if you haven't already. Shout out to the Noti gang. Stay humble, stay hungry. We'll see you guys in the next video. We're moving Diffy. Oh, I wish I had a lover who could hold me. We're kind of moving Diffy here. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Yo, we're kind of shooting different. Oh, I'm dancing on him. So, people over here, I wonder if I finish one of these guys. I mean, we're kind of beaming, bro. Boom. We're kind of shooting different out here, you know? Enemies dropping into the air. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. Easy 20 bomb if we just don't sell it. What a flank. No, you stink! Come back here, bro. No, you camping butt! So this guy is just camping on loadout, and then he runs away like a little... Can't even say it. Family friendly. Sorry.